What's up, what's up, what's up? It's time to go on a road trip with that guy. <laughs> Today we're dropping off the V7ER to get built. What's up guys, you join me on Route 287 North. Chad is behind me in the C30 and basically what we're doing is we're cruising up to Rolling Motors up in Connecticut and the VR is getting built. Basically what's going on is we're gonna go up there and meet up with Ben McNally who is the owner and um, lead, lead guy essentially of the Rolling Motors crew. We're gonna meet him, we're gonna meet, uh, well we're gonna meet him and we're gonna go over all the parts that we're gonna put in this car, which includes the new turbo, the new injectors, all the trimmings, gaskets, whatever. We're going to shim this engine and we're gonna make sure it is more reliable so we don't have a cracky boy, we don't have a bunch of cracked cylinder walls, and hopefully when we break the engine open, uh, we don't have it all, we don't already have a cracked cylinder wall. So, with that being said, let's get on the way, let's get up there quickly, this early in the morning, Sunday morning cruise, and we'll show you around the shop a little bit and show you the parts, so let's go. So don't tell Chad I said this, but uh, having him follow me and having to look at the front end of the C30, uh, the C30 looks really good, and I think I'll have one eventually one day because I really like the looks of it. Pre-facelift, post-facelift, either one, I really like it, but uh, yeah, don't tell Chad. All right, so we're here. Chad is there. And Ben's here, so Hello. we're bringing out the big guns. What's up, What's man? up man? Good to see you again. How you doing? Ben, of course, is the proprietor of this place, which is Rolling Motors LLC, and we have brought the VR here to get built. So what we're gonna do, so we're basically just gonna have Ben on camera for a hot second. We're gonna go through what we're gonna do, and uh, Bobby's over there as well. Um, these guys are going to basically tear down the car uh, in the garage here, and we are going to leave it with them because they are experts and I am not. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you a couple videos while we're here, uh, a couple of time lapses. One of the all-wheel drive fix. Now the all-wheel drive fix, uh, I was not able to do because we did not have the correct um, sockets to do this fix. Unfortunately, we had sockets that uh, were not the same size and also were not impact wrench approved, essentially. So we would have put it on the carrier bearing done the <laughs> done the impact wrench and everything would have shattered so what we're going to do is we're going to give you a time lapse here ben is going to do the fix for the all-wheel drive system and i'm going to time lapse it and show you with voiceover how to do everything that's going to be one of the videos this video we're basically going to go over all the parts we're going to put on the car and the last one is going to be the entire fix of the block being shimmed turbo being put on all the trimmings um, gaskets what have you new injectors bigger injectors and then after that we're going to bring it home we're going to throw it on the dyno that we've dynoed this car on a bunch of times and see exactly what kind of power it's making so without further ado let's hop inside and let's go over all the parts we're going to put in so what we have here is our parts and i'm just basically going to turn it over to ben we're just going to like root through everything and uh see exactly what we're putting on so ben kind of take it away and tell us what we're looking at so uh for starters guys uh we're going to be throwing on the mean lean k24 k26 hybrid. oh yes now we'll, there's two different hybrids to these turbos right so which one do we have here so this is the real deal oil lubricated non-water cooled k26 it is a porsche k26 stuffed into the volvo housing uh giant bearings uh larger shaft diameter Ooh, um, nice much better and robust thrust washer uh and this thing should make probably pretty close to 400 horsepower awesome so we're looking forward to it the turbine's been cut out uh the compressor side's been cut out it's a pretty large uh wheel got now you're telling me i have a porsche turbo that's going in this car well that's how you make volvos fast I approve highly of everything that's being said. So, Keep going. <laughs> so, uh, in addition, we'll throw on our forged diverter valve. Uh, we have a couple different choices of injectors from Beachworks or Five O Motorsports. Now, what size are the injectors that we're we're, we're uh, kind of going for? Because go 
OEMs are what, and then what are we OEMs upgrading are about to? Four sixty-five, I think. Okay. Um, we're gonna go with six fifties or about seven fifty. Okay. Uh, we're gonna leave that up to the tuner to pretty much choose which is gonna be best for this application. Once we get everything going, you already have the big mass airflow sensor on there, so you should be good. Um, and then we've got you know random uh, seals and spark plugs and gaskets and whatnot. Perfect. So, Look there's a whole that. bunch of other parts we'll uh, we'll pick up later. Awesome. But, uh, for now, that's that's what we got. Perfect. Um, so for tuning purposes, basically we have the Hilton 2.5 tune on here. Will you basically essentially just wipe that clean and throw your own tune on from we'll, Stevo, or is that, like we'll how does that work? We'll have to start fresh. Uh, the injectors and everything will have to get um, fuel mapping. Much, yeah, everything's gonna have to get changed. Okay. Uh, the way this turbo operates is a little different than normal, um, so it's best to start over. Yeah, that's a good thing. Awesome. And about you're you're saying we'll probably make around 400 at the crank uh, when we're yeah, done because that's I'm, what that's what we're shooting for with the build. So I think that's as, as long as your clutch holds up, uh, we'll be able to push it pretty hard. <laughs> okay. So uh, the block's gonna get shimmed. Uh, I see you have the intercooler in the trunk. Yes. Uh, we should be able to crank it pretty hard uh, if we need meth, and we'll throw meth on it. Okay. And we'll see what happens. Sounds good. Awesome. Well, we're gonna drop the car with you guys. Thank you so much for helping us out. The lighting is not very good, but there is someone right here, I promise. <laughs> um, but awesome, thank you so much, Ben. We're going to leave it with him, him and uh, Rolling Motors Capable Hands, and then we are going to hop in a C30 and head home, because Chad was nice enough to give me a ride. Not we'll yet. talk some C30 stuff. What? Not yet. Jerk. <laughs> and then uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah, next video you see of this car, well, next videos you see of this car, will be completely done. So stay tuned for that. Let's hop back in and let's head home. All right, guys, you join me the next day. Well, actually a few days later because had a little bit of family drama that happened uh, over the weekend, but uh, nothing you guys need to concern yourselves with. Not gonna bore you with that. You catch me and join me driving actually to work. Um, and basically what I'm gonna tell you is a couple of things. There's a few things we did not mention uh, when we were at Rolling Motors with Ben. The uh, intercooler install that I promised you guys, that is actually being handled by Ben. The reason for that is because to install an intercooler and then tune it again and dyno it again and with all the issues that I was having with the Hilton Stage 2.5 tune, we were on our fourth map and it still wasn't working. Uh, it was easier and much more cost effective to go to Ben and say, hey, install this and tune for everything we're doing. So that is being done by Ben. It's the Snob full front mount intercooler system and it replaces the two um, basically, well, it replaces everything up front from the intercooler system from stock. So we'll get into that once and sort of what we did once we pick up the car and go through everything that's been going on. What we're also doing is since the head is going to be coming off for the shims and we're going to basically replace, be replacing the head gasket and all that other good stuff, we are going to machine the head as well as clean everything inside. Uh, we're not going to port it. Uh, if you port the head, that could be between $1,000 and $2,000 depending on where you go. Um, and this cleaning and refinishing and resurfacing basically will cost a few hundred, uh, which was recommended by Ben and the guys at Rolling Motors. Uh, so we're going to do that as opposed to porting it. Um, just don't have the uh, funds to do a, you know, $1,500, $2,000 uh, head port at this point. Maybe in the future, but not right now. Um, as far as cost is concerned, I don't feel it appropriate to discuss that with any anybody. Um, that is between uh, Ben and I, and if you want to have this stuff done, you should reach out to him for an, a quote, because everyone's build is a little different. So um, it's, it's gonna be a good chunk of change, but the Volvo V70R will be done essentially mechanically from an engine and driveline standpoint once we get the car back. So we're gonna head back up there in two weeks. Uh, we're gonna go over everything that Ben did. And we're also gonna give you that all-wheel drive fix video individually, as I uh, had said earlier. I honestly can't believe that this is finally coming to fruition. Uh, it's been close to two years since we started this whole project and this whole build. This is something that uh, I really never thought would <laughs> would be uh, would be happening but uh, the V70R will be ready to take on if we can find another one E46 M3 or you know whoever else uh, still waiting on some challengers if anyone has anything uh, you know let us know 400 crank horsepower right around there if you live in the New York New Jersey Pennsylvania Connecticut whatever area Northeast let us know we want to take you on this summer um, apart from that 
there's really nothing else to to update you on we know or you guys know that we're going to carlisle so definitely look for us there if you're going to be there you know give us a shout out uh we'll be there saturday the 18th we are going to the tale of the dragon c30 event so stay tuned for a ton of content from them uh or from there uh we're also going to be installing um some ipd some fcp euro parts uh very soon so stay in touch and stay tuned for that. One other announcement before I go, we're going to be at the New York Auto Show uh, starting tomorrow. Uh, Hanson and I will be there, and we're going to be giving you a bunch of videos on new cars. So if you have anything that you want to see from the New York Auto Show, definitely drop us a line. Uh, follow us on Instagram. We have um, tons of stuff coming up through Instagram. We're also going to be going to, uh, on, on top of Carlisle, I forgot to mention, we're going to be going to the IPD garage sale. So look for Hanson there. He's going to be going to the garage sale. I'll be at Carlisle. Um, Chad unfortunately won't make it to either event, but Shifting Lanes is going by coastal <laughs> for for that. So, uh, with that being said, follow us on all social media. It's at Shifting Lanes. If you want to check out anything for supporting the channel, uh, everything's in the description below for Patreon as well as our Teespring account to check out all of our T-shirts and all of our merchandise. I will catch you next time. I cannot wait to bring you the next few videos on this car, and it's going to be really exciting to finally have my V70R all finished. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. See ya.